A few weeks ago, I posted this Dotson on my Instagram. Pretty cool, right? But almost immediately, the comments were flooded with responses like this. People worried that I accidentally doxed the owner by posting the car without the license plate blurred. So that got me wondering, are these people just paranoid or can you actually get personal information from a license plate? Oh my God, should I be paranoid? There are a bunch of reasons to look up someone else's license plate. Maybe you were in a hit and run and caught the driver's license plate. Maybe you wanna run a check on this one and get Batman's address. And obviously, if you're interested in buying a vehicle, you'd like to be able to make sure it wasn't previously owned by one of those guys who has relations with their car, because you want to be first. Love you, baby. When the police run a license plate, they can get a bunch of information. Current and previous owners, registered address, insurance information, etc. They can look up license plates all day, but it's illegal to just give this information out to anyone who asks. Which means to get this access, you'd have to become a cop which honestly seems like a lot of work. So what information can I, a non-police officer, get from a license plate? It's time for some Donut Media investigative journalism. This is Zach Job. He's handsome. He knows how to work on cars. And he's also the most mysterious employee at Donut. He always shows up on time and never cuts out early. What kind of freak is this guy? There are a bunch of license plate lookup websites out there. They pulled old DMV records, but also search public court records. They promise they can get more info than a simple DMV Freedom of Information vehicle request, including owner criminal history and sometimes even mug shots. And it'll show you everything if you pay $5. This is where a lot of people might lose interest. You might not want to give your credit card number to a website that literally sells people's personal information, but I gotta know about Zach. Here's the license plate on his Mi Auto. Let's find out what goodies we can get. So we actually use one of these free websites. I'm gonna be surprised if this turns up anything useful. All right, so it's a 1994 Mazda MX-5. Oh, it's telling me that the Miata is a convertible two-door. Very good information. Or the picture at least shows a red Miata with different wheels. I think this is just a stock photo. I don't, I don't think that it actually has the real plate. All right, so we can't verify the information for violations and citations on the Miata because I don't know if Zach's been a bad boy with his Miata. I don't know if this is accurate, but I do know that I've been a bad boy with my car, so I'm gonna search my plate and see if any citations and violations come up to see if this is like a legit website. And find by plate says, no violations or citations found for my plate number, which I have for sure gotten. So I don't think this is a very useful website. It doesn't tell me anything about Zach Job, and that's what I want. We got the make and model of his car, which I guess we could have ascertained by looking at the vehicle the license plate is attached to. But that's the cheap way. I wanted to make sure. I wanted to give them money. I'm hoping that we get some luck there because I, I need to know what that Zach Job is up to. He's handsome, he's funny, and he can work on cars. Something's wrong with him. And uh, he knows how to ride a horse. He knows how to ride a horse too? God damn it, this guy is everything. Warning. Again, this is, you can only do this if you're following the law. Which I'm not. Ooh, it's got a it's got a progress bar, so you know it's actually working. Their database is updated as of today, so that's convenient. So initial stuff from Search Quarry is just basic stuff. Like it tells me that it's a Mazda, tells me how big the engine is, tells me that there's a full uh, report available. So tons of plans. A five-day trial is only five bucks. Uh, uh, again, it makes you say that you're following the law. Hmm, this seems like a good option. Legitimate business for use by any legitimate business or its agents, me, to verify the accuracy of personal information submitted by the individual. View report, here we go, the report is ready. And that says it's searching for the plate. I thought you said it was ready. Oh my God, the picture they have for it, the render of a Miata that's slammed on like five spokes. Anyway, it's a Mazda, just like we learned on the free site. Pre there's premium VIN information. Of course you wanna pay again. No, we're not doing that. Dude, this is bullshit. It's just telling me information about the car, nothing about the owner. For five bucks, I am pissed. All right, for five dollars, we found a whole lot of nothing. Uh, basically, everything that we could have found with the free website, we got for five bucks, so I've been cheated. My day has been ruined. I feel like this was a dumb idea. 
Isn't there a way we can get the police level license plate search all in one place? According to IntelHawkPI.com, yes we can at IntelHawkPI.com. They advertise that they employ licensed private investigators who have access to non-public databases. A license plate search is a whopping $20. But Zach sometimes tucks his shirt in, so he probably has bodies in his trunk. Let's see what we can do. Buy now, select the state. California isn't listed on here? What? Colorado. Well, we can't use this one because California's not on here. In the states, California, Hawaii, New Hampshire, Oregon, Pennsylvania, and Virginia, this Intel Hawk site is uh, unable to do anything. I don't know what to do here, Alex. What do we do? Let's go ahead. All right, so why couldn't I do a search in California? Well, according to the Cali DMV website, certain protections are granted when it comes to the personal info linked to your license plate. Major things like your medical information, social security number, phone number, license number, and fingerprints are totally safe. No one outside the DMV can get that information without a warrant. But your address, that's a little different. Non-government entities like car manufacturers can get your info from the DMV to send you recall notices. Colleges can too, not for recalls, but to send you parking tickets. So that's how UCLA found me. And frankly, that's scary. And I don't like the idea of it at all. But it makes sense in the context of law enforcement, I guess, but police would already have access to that sort of system. So what could a private party do with that? I don't know because we're in California and we couldn't do it. Lucky for me though, Zach is from Ohio. So Zach's roommate, my twin, John Cerrone, sent me a picture of Zach's RV license plate. And we're gonna run that search instead and see what we can uncover. There's less hurdles on this website to search a plate from Ohio than one from California. So big brain time for me. We paid for it, we paid him $25. I hope there's um, no consequences. Okay, this is funny. I really hope they're cool with it. All right, we, we got the info from Intel Hawk. I'm gonna read it to Job right now. We're gonna see if it's accurate. Come here for a second. What do you got a clipboard for? You didn't know this, but we ran a, a license plate check on your RV. Yeah? Yeah, and I just wanted to verify to see if this, if this is legit. We think we spent 25 <laughs> What did you do this for? I got some information about you. I just wanted to check if this is real. Did you live at 3629 Street. Sure did. In North Kansas. That's where I came from. <laughs> does your social security number start with You can't get all of it. Yeah, it does. <laughs> what else do you know? Uh, it doesn't have your driver's license number, thankfully. Okay, good. Um, let's see. <laughs> Alex, remember, we're going to bleep. Apparently, you can also spend $75 for a list of vehicle sightings. Supposedly, Intel Hawk has access to traffic cameras that collects time and location data of license plates, claiming to have a database of over 9 billion vehicle sightings in the US. Okay, even though I don't really like the idea of giving Intel Hawk more money, um, we did get some really good information last time, so we opted to spend $75 more and run a license plate image search. We got some pretty interesting results, uh, which I have right here. Uh, Zach! Zach! Yes. Oh. What kind of dirt did you dig up on me today, Nolan? Well, uh, we got some photos of your RV. Oh my god. Just parked, I assume. Uh, these are all, they all look like they're kind of in the same location. It's creepy, right? It is pretty creepy. What, who's taking pictures? How do you find these? I think these are all uh, taken from like, the dash of cop cars. Uh-huh. I mean, I guess you can't do that much with this info, but I still no. don't really like it. For a hundred bucks, yeah. we found all that information. And you could be anybody. You could be crazy. Yeah. You could be a nut job. Total nut job. Coming after me. So, can I find your house with your license plate? Yes. Honestly, I was not expecting this result. I think it's incredible that all someone needs to find your personal information is a credit card and your license plate. Of course, our license plates aren't the only thing in our life that can give away our info. Think about how much you use your phone. How much private info do you send through it every day? Think about all the smart devices in our home right now that are no doubt collecting and sending stuff to databases all over. It's not a pleasant thought. But if it makes you feel better, go ahead and put a thumb over that license plate. At least that's one thing you can protect. Unless you park wrong at UCLA, they will find you. And they'll charge you $75. The sign was not clear. Honestly, I think pr protecting your privacy is really important. I can't really, because I'm on the internet and I'm a narcissist, so I plug my name everywhere. Are you still gonna put your thumb over pictures on Craigslist? Let me know in the comments. 
Love to hear from you guys what you thought of this video. What are some other myths or legends or things that you would like us to test out? I'm, I'm, re I'm really into this uh, investigative thing. It's fun to do stuff like this. First name, Harry. Last name, Potter. Primary contact number, Taco Bell. Sorry, it has to be Taco Bell. Please enter your, that's my. So now a private investigator is gonna get a request from Harry Potter, whose phone number is the Taco Bell, Tascadero, California. Be kind, I'll see you next time.